大家好 ，I'm Nathan Rich, aka 火锅大王。It's time for another hot pot news video already. I know, I know. I can't wait either. People are asking me to comment on other people who try to discredit me. Don't bother. I don't care what a bunch of dead weight thinks about me. We're trying to do something here, you and I. We're trying to correct this ridiculous amount of anti-Chinese bias in the world. What are they doing about this problem? Contributing to it or whining about someone who is? Honestly, I don't even watch those people, and I suggest you avoid them as well. Either we're going to try to fix this problem, or we aren't. If we do things their way, we aren't. We have a real chance to tell the world it's okay to love China. So let's do that. Let's solve this problem. YouTube is demonetizing my videos. I want to be clear about what that means exactly, because it's actually kind of a confusing term. When you make a video on YouTube, you can enable monetization, which is really just ads. That helps cover the monetary costs and, in fact, the time costs of doing these videos. Some of these videos take me weeks to finish, and while I don't need the money to survive on, it's much nicer to make videos and not lose money in the process, if you know what I mean. So when you enable these ads, YouTube will determine if your videos are suitable. If they determine your video is too controversial, let's say, they may severely limit the ads on that video. When I say severely, I mean literally 90% of the ads and revenue are gone. There's of course no notification given. There's no rationale offered, no explanation or dialogue at all. The only thing they tell you is that your video doesn't follow the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Well, then that's easy. I mean, just follow the guidelines, and videos won't be demonetized, right? Wait, what are those guidelines anyway? All I need to do is just avoid any of these things: inappropriate language, which is described as strong profanity or vulgarity. It also says it needs to be frequent use. Okay, well that's.、Uh, oh wait. Then here it says occasional use of profanity won't necessarily be a ban, but it could be. So, in other words, if you say anything profane or vulgar, then it's completely up to them whether to demonetize your video. Well, f- all right. Well, let's see what else. Oh, violence, adult content, harmful or dangerous acts, hateful content, drugs, tobacco, firearms, adult themes and family content, or and this is my favorite, controversial issues and sensitive events. They list out some examples. Sexual abuse, terrorism, extremism, war, death, tragedies, political conflicts, and they clearly write non-exhaustive. This means they can just demonetize any video by calling it sensitive. So there you have it. Unless I change this channel to one about my cats, they are going to continue demonetizing my videos because you know what? There are a lot of sensitive topics that need to be discussed in the world. So if you see a red X next to one of my videos, that means the video is demonetized. If you like the videos with the red X's and want to continue seeing them, I will ask you to support this channel by going to hotpot.team and reading the numerous ways to do so, or by checking the description of the video. I think today I'm going to engage with a hater. Fun. Amy Wright. Tian Tian. So this guy says he checks YouTube to see if I made a new video every day. Thanks, man. I mean, I'm not making these videos for myself over here. I already know how I see things. I'm trying to share these things with everyone else. So great, thanks. And most of the replies are positive. But look at this lady. Your life must be sad if you have nothing better to do than waiting for this foreigner's video, who only wants to make money from you. He doesn't even have respect to learn our beautiful language or understand our real history. He doesn't care about China. He just wants to say good stuff and get lots of money. Shame on you for supporting this foreign liar. Wow, that's a lot of hate in one little comment. Let me clarify, since you seem confused about who I am, and what I'm doing, and who you are and what you're doing. But you're right, my Chinese isn't good enough. I can understand most conversations without issue, but I can't actually speak very well myself. You know why? Because from 2014 to 2018, I was working as a CTO in a visual effects company, where I had a very nice assistant named Catherine who also translated for me. When your company is making Hollywood movies, no one has time for the CTO to slow everything down with clunky Chinese. But because I am fascinated by the language, my listening skills developed. So when I hang out with my friends, I can understand most of what they're saying, but I'm like a mute. Believe me, it's sad. And now I'm so busy, I barely do anything anymore. No excuse, I know. 
So in a way, you're right. My Chinese isn't where I want it to be. You got me there. But then you start to wander off and lose the plot a bit. You seem to think I'm making videos to get money. Lady, I hate to be the one to break this to you. And please don't tell anyone this. I don't care about your view count at all. You know how much money I get from these videos compared to, let's say, if I just say yes to any of the huge offers I have for my time? Zero. Less than zero. I'm losing by not taking bigger offers I get to be a technical executive at companies in America. Instead, I spend my time in the country I love pushing away high paying part-time work to make videos on a subject I'm passionate about. And then I get mosquitoes like you who come along and accuse me of gaining money. No, these videos are killing my bank accounts. They're losing me more money per year than most people make. You get it? And I would have to be stupid to not want these videos to cover their own cost. Then, weirdly, you say I don't try to learn China's real history. This one is so strange it actually makes me think you're trolling. You do realize that I may literally be the only foreigner in the history of YouTube to be creating a real history video series about China, right? I'm going to open the history up to the world. The question you should be asking yourself, Amy, is why haven't you done this? And why do you attack those who do? Why are you so determined to attack one of the voices supporting China? And that brings me to the real point here. I'm not making videos for me, not for you either. I'm making them for people who enjoy them or need them. You see, Amy, there are Chinese people out in the world right now being bombarded with anti-Chinese media. They're being told by their friends and the media that their country, your country, is garbage. They're being taught to hate their families. They're being taught to hate their culture. So who can these people turn to for balance? You, Amy? Where are your videos, Amy? No, oh, you don't have any. So your solution is to just let these people down? Let them suffer and lose themselves. Is that it? You see, I feel partially responsible for the current anti-Chinese climate in the world. I did nothing to help, and I can't stop it. But I can try to fight it. And Amy, I'll continue to fight it with or without your help. I'll continue to fight it even if no one supports me. I was making these videos before anyone knew who I was, because I care about China and the way it's perceived. What are you doing to help the situation? Trying to shame people for watching alternative views? Hating on people that represent China in a positive light? I've been thinking a lot about this documentary series. Because I'm doing this without a team, I really need to weigh my options. I was planning on doing a 20-hour documentary split into one-hour parts. But honestly, with work and other engagements, I simply don't have enough time to do it right. And on top of all that, YouTube has been demonetizing my videos, which is discouraging. And even if I had enough time to do it right, you guys would still have to wait months as I finish it up. But I think I've got a better way to do it, which mostly solves these issues. I'm not 100% settled on this approach, but it does seem the best way, so you let me know what you think. What if instead of a packaged documentary, I told the same story but in sequential videos? Maybe once a week or once every other week, depending on my time. So in other words, I'll release the documentary over time in smaller videos. This means you'll get to start watching it very soon, like in the next few weeks or so, and you'll have a constant stream of videos from that over a long period of time. But the thing to note is, it will have a lot more of me analyzing each subject than I originally planned. I think this is a pretty good way to do it. Let me know what you think. Seriously, I want to know what you think about this idea, because I work in a bubble. So why don't you do this? Why don't you go check out the Patreon or subscribe star for the anti-Chinese channel of your choice? Go take a look, I'm serious, and compare it to mine. If you think the numbers are fair, then fine. But if you want to fight back, you know who to support. And I think we all know who Amy is backing. For other ways to support that don't cost money, check out the description of the video. I've got some more videos coming up, and a few of them are doozies. So stay tuned. In the meantime, just remember, contrary to what Amy says, it is okay to love China. Thanks, everyone. Xie xie.